In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a Redbubble product you need to make sure that you are selling if you're looking to increase your sales. If you're ready for this video, please do drop a like rating as that would be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's jump straight into this. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops. Now, if this is the first time you're stopping by, make sure that you're clicking on that subscribe button and turning on those notification bells. That way you won't miss out on any of my future content and you won't miss out on any information that could potentially help you to make some extra money online. And for those that don't already know, down in the description, I have a free print on demand starter guide that features a lot of the information that I used to get my first few sales online through sites like Redbubble. And on top of that, for those that are looking to take this a little bit more seriously and maybe even turn it into a full time thing, I also have a paid step by step guide that's linked down below. Check that out if you're interested. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, what is this Redbubble product? So I'm going to show you right now. It's greetings cards. And this is something that I've spoke about before, but in today's video, I'm going to be going into this with a little bit more detail, showing you some examples that will help to explain why you guys need to be selling these. Now, jumping straight into it. Now, when you search greetings cards on Redbubble, you will notice that there's a lot of things that are shown here that you wouldn't see with some of the other Redbubble products. You see a section here that says shop cards by occasion, shop cards by holiday, and then shop cards by recipient. All these sections are sections that can give you a lot of valuable information. And all these sections are great mainly because they'll give you a lot of information into the kind of cards that you want to be creating. Just so you guys have an idea of how popular greetings cards are starting to become, there's currently 860,000 greetings cards currently on Redbubble at the moment. Now, I know you guys might think, okay, it might not be a good idea to get into this because there's a lot of competition but that is totally not true with a lot of the information i'll be talking about as we go along you will see why you definitely need to make sure that you are selling these if you aren't already and in fact before i even move on on this channel i have actually made other videos speaking about greetings cards where people apply this information and then actually got themselves some sales i'll put some comments on the screen here showing you people that have actually sold greetings cards and have started to get sales and if you're someone that's not doing this hopefully that can be an additional reason as to why you need to start doing this but yeah bringing us back to the main greetings cards page here these sections are very powerful mainly because obviously they show you what you can create designs for there's so many things here obviously with the holidays this will be mostly seasonal but where the real money is at is with the occasion cards now if you think to yourself birthdays are pretty much every day someone has a birthday every day someone is born every day so if you create birthday cards there's a high chance you can see consistent sales for yourself anniversaries are another one they're not that often but they're often enough to potentially get yourself daily sales so that's something you can look into and then as for these other things here you can always create cards for them but in my opinion i think birthday cards anniversary cards are more likely to get you consistent daily sales and to top it all off guys let's say you're making birthday cards or anniversary cards you can top it all off by actually aiming that towards a certain person whether that's a mom a dad wife husband child friend teacher i mean redbubble pretty much gives you all the information you need for the types of greetings cards you need to be making and guys trust me they would not do this if it wasn't something that was getting people sales and also making them money so you need to make sure that you're using this information and guys like i showed you before guys with greetings cards there's a lot of competition but there's little things you can do to actually reduce that competition for yourself one of those things could be targeting a set age. As you can see here, I've got an example of a first birthday greetings card or first birthday greetings cards. As you can see here, there's 8,600 results, which is a lot less than the 800,000 results we saw before. Doing things like this will make life easier for yourself. Also due to the fact that you can create scalable designs where you can make a birthday card 
for age one all the way up to age 75 whatever age you want to go up to and that way you're covering multiple ages and you're also getting a lot of designs up there as well and when it comes to obviously birthday cards you want to be creative with it you want to use different styles so you can see obviously people that have made designs for first birthdays they've also gone and made designs for second birthdays and like i'm saying you can be very creative with what you're doing change things around and one thing you want to do is to make sure that you're standing out you don't just want to put an age without anything else on it you want to be creative what some people have done for example what you can see here have been creative in the kind of cars they've created so this one says my 21st birthday the one i celebrated in down 2021 that's a different style of doing a card that can be made scalable here's another one it's like a to-do list that says wake up turn 21 be awesome once again this can be scaled with any age and then we have level 21 complete another way of just saying you've turned 21 and you have vintage 1999 now these are designs that you'd usually find a lot in things like t-shirts but once again it's another style you can use for greetings cards now if you're creative with the kind of greetings cards you make especially with the scalable ones you can have a lot of designs made quickly which is one of the main reasons i push you guys to create things like this and i actually do understand that a lot of you guys might not know how to actually set greetings cards as your default image it's fairly easy to do now usually when you scroll to the bottom of your page on redbubble you see a section that says default product you go on that and you want to pretty much select greetings cards i'll show you guys in a second how you do that but before you do that you want to always make sure that this product here that says prints cards and posters is enabled with everything enabled that way when it comes to setting the greetings card or selecting it it actually shows up on your product and just to quickly show you guys how simple this is so when you scroll to the bottom of the page once you have your design put up you see a section here that says default product in your shop you just want to click the drop down and find greetings cards once you select that then when people find your design it will be showing on a greetings cards in comparison to other products it's very very easy to do once you do that you just save work and you're pretty much good to go now there's a variation of styles when it comes to greetings cards on redbubble i mean if i just scroll through some of the ones i uh, were on here you see there's greetings cards that have images or like cartoon styled images text only greetings cards and these are greetings cards that are showing on the first page i mean there's complicated ones the simple ones so if you have an idea best believe if you find a niche that will allow it to obviously get the recognition it needs so it's usually low competition niches at first you could potentially get ranked up very very high on the first page that shows greetings cards some people obviously overthink things and want to make complicated designs but you don't need to you can make simple text designs like someone made here and you know it's made it to the first page and it's something you guys can do and if you want to make even more complicated designs and you're not that artsy there's ways you can get around this as well which i'll go on to talk about in a moment but before i talk about that i just want to say when it comes to greetings cards so let's say you're someone who's never sold them before or you've never even tried to push greetings cards that much most important thing to do is to see what's working and then see if there's any way you can upgrade that so let's say if you're someone who's not that artsy and you start off with only text-based greetings cards and you see that they start selling you then want to take it up a level and then maybe start putting images or cartoon based things on them a good way to see what kind of greetings cards people may be buying a lot of people might be liking is to actually look online and see what other greetings cards websites are doing now one website i've known Notice that does that is Moonpig. There's a variation of other websites that's very similar to this that sell greetings cards. I mean, the greetings cards business is big business. So when it comes to websites like this, they'll always try to stay on top of things like memes and things that are doing well to see if they can better their sites in any way. And as you can see here, they have a section where you can go birthday cards, anniversary cards, Easter, lockdown, so on, so on, so on. The good thing about this is that you can click onto one of these sections. So let's say we click on birthday cards and it will give you an idea of the kind of things that are selling online that you might then be able to recreate in your own way and put onto your own Redbubble stores. Now, as you can see, some of these designs 
a very simple for example this one here but then there's a bit more complicated designs like this one where there's a picture of boris johnson obviously someone had to create that it was artsy it wasn't easy but things like that obviously sell once again i'll be showing you guys in a moment how you can go about getting stuff like this created a lot of greetings cards obviously don't have to be complicated they can have simple images just like this little controller here simple design that says gamers don't age they level up it's a nice little design and obviously this is targeted at a certain name you don't have to target a certain name it could just be gamers don't age they level up happy birthday simple another one here have a magical day you've got a picture of a little unicorn once again i understand not a lot of you guys are artsy but there are ways around this if you want to level up your greeting card game right guys so let's say you want to make a greetings card that has a unicorn design and you don't know how to make your own kind of unicorn art there's websites out there like vexels where you can literally jump on and literally type in unicorn and it will show you pngs of unicorn so i'm just going to make sure i have png selected here and just like that plenty of plenty of png images of unicorns that you can use on a greetings cards if you want sites like vexels they do come with a subscription service so if you want to be using you know their images regularly it's something that you'd have to actually subscribe to but if you're not trying to maybe go with a site like this to get your images there's also other sites out there for example like fiverr where you can literally search for cartoon art and you find people that create art for you so it could be images like this you know a variation of different styles of images so you can always find someone on fiverr to create art for you especially if you're in a certain niche that's working and you feel like you want to level up your designs what i'll do for you guys i'll put the links down in the description to both vexels and fiverr if you want to use any either of them to create your designs with fiverr obviously you're just paying an artist a set fee sometimes it can be a little bit pricey depending on obviously what you guys can afford but if you can't go with any of those options and you're just getting into creating greetings cards you can make literally simple text-based greetings cards like i showed you before they do appear on the first page of redbubble if you manage to get yourself in the right niche and the great thing about certain greetings cards as your front images as well is the fact that they'll most likely draw a lot of people in and with a lot of the designs that you create for greetings cards as long as you're making sure that you create a png image version for that card you can put them on all of your other products and they'll still look good as well and just to finish off guys I thought it'd be cool to talk about dimensions now when it comes to greetings cards dimensions you want to be using 5000 by 7100 now what does that do it helps to make sure that you don't have these white spaces on your greetings cards these white spaces can sometimes put people off from actually buying your design so make sure that you are using those dimensions so the card is filled up and if you want to create a card that looks a little bit more like this so that's a landscape you just flip the dimensions around to 7100 by 5000 and then redbubble will actually make sure that your card will show up looking like this but yes that is it for this video hopefully i explained for you guys why you need to be selling this product that product being greetings cards the opportunities with this are endless there's people that have watched my previous videos i've made speaking about greetings cards that are now getting sales on greetings cards if you're watching me for the first time if you've been watching me for a while and you're not doing this do this this could be the game changer you've been looking for if you've enjoyed this video please drop a like as that would be very much appreciated for anyone that's made it to this point comment down in the comment section greetings and i'll try to respond to as many of you guys as possible nevertheless always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success